Welcome to Runway Academy. We're looking at how to add transitions in your edit. And there are two ways of approaching transitions, through presets or through keyframes. On the one hand, presets are very handy. On the other hand, you can have much more control using keyframes. With your project open and a clip selected, navigate to the Motion Effects tab in the right panel, and you'll see options to set a Motion In preset or a Motion Out preset. Clicking on a plus sign will automatically add that transition where you can select between a fade or a swipe. And if you're using a text layer, which we are, we also have the option to select the typewriter effect. You can change the length of the transition by changing the number of seconds, and each transition comes with its own settings. So if I select a swipe, arrows will reveal and you can select which direction you want your layer to animate, doing this either for the beginning or the end of the clip. Then you can also select the motion type, whether you want it to move at one constant linear speed or have an exponential ease. Pretty straightforward with presets and definitely a time saver if you're looking for something quick. However, if you want a little bit more control and want to experiment with other transitions, you'll want to work with keyframes. And I can do that by clicking animate with my clip selected. This will reveal a list of parameters that are keyframable. If that's even a word, is it a word? Well, it is now. And you can use any of these or a combo of these parameters. So you define the start of the animation by clicking the stopwatch next to the parameter, and this will create a keyframe. Now I'll scrub to where I want my animation to end, and I can either hit the stopwatch again to create my second keyframe, or I can just simply start changing parameters and it'll create a new keyframe for me. So to do a fade, my starting keyframe will have an opacity of zero and my second keyframe at 100%. So over time, it'll gradually fade on. For transitioning between clips, you'll have to time how these clips overlap. And just like presets, you can select your easing by clicking between the keyframes and on the right tab, you'll have options to select how you want your easing. You can go from a little easing to a lot of easing. So once you understand the concept of keyframing, you have a ton of options to explore because you can essentially keyframe anything. So if I want my video to scale in, I'll set keyframes for the scale. I could have it rotate in. I can combine both scale and rotation to create a new behavior. I can play around with moving edges if I keyframe my cropping settings. Tons of creative ways to incorporate transitions into your edit. And if you have any cool transitions that you've made, we'd love to see them. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions or you want to reach out to us, be sure to hit the button on the bottom of your dashboard.